Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this Philips 100 watt pulse start ceramic metal halide bulb. This particular bulb lives in one of my little floodlight fixtures that I bought at a Habitat for Humanity Restore in Tempe, Arizona for $30, which is semi-expensive, but not too expensive as $100, for example. So anyway, I'm going to turn the bulb over so you can take a look at the etch, or also known as the information about this particular metal halide bulb. So, I'm going to focus it on the etch up close so you can get a good view of it. I may have to point it at some type of light so we can get a good view. So, sorry about that. My camera is a little blurry for some reason, so I'm going to have it like this. So, it's made by Philips, obviously. It's 100 watt, and the letter R means that if this bulb, the outer layer of the bulb is broken, this bulb will continue to operate, and it will give off UV radiation, which will not be good. So... This is also an alto as well, but I'm not going to put it in the title of the video. So, you can see the warning symbol of Mercury near the bottom, near the code of the etch. And here's the bulb code itself. MHC means ceramic metal halide. 100 is the wattage. Universal burn position, medium based bulb. And the color temperature is 4000 Kelvin, or cool white. And, um... I also forgot to mention, this bowl produces 9,000 lumens, so it is pretty bright, as you can tell, even for a 100-watt ceramic metal halide bulb. So anyway, let's take a look at the construction of the bulb now. You can see the exhaust tube down there. You can see that it's, like, compressed with all these, all these different types of wiring for the construction of this particular bulb. You can see the welding process of how they connect the, the process to the arc tube to make the light. And believe it or not, this bulb actually uses the M90 ballast as well. You can see the electrodes, which is pretty cool. You can see the electrodes of the arc tube. And there's the dimple for extra support for the arc tube. And speaking of arc tube, here is the arc tube itself. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but... Those two little um, little things that are poking out into the arc tube, those are the electrodes which operate and at high temperatures so they can um, produce the light when they um, when the light operates. So it operates at 50 psi even though this arc tube is made of ceramic, not quartz. So anyway, we also have a very nice brass base as well, along with the glass insulator too. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and um, give this bulb a shot, and we'll see how it starts up. And this bulb actually came in this nice floodlight fixture. I don't know if you can see in the low light, but this is the bulb that came in this floodlight fixture. So it works very well, and it kind of has a loud ballast. And the ballast is behind here, behind the reflector, and it's like way up here. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and give this bulb a test, and we'll see how it starts up. And this is an ED17 shaped bulb, by the way, in case if you're wondering. I'm going to go ahead and close up the door. And there's this little latch to keep it at a particular angle as well. And this is to... And that right there is to snap it in place. So if I hear this, it snaps in place. And that's the safety of the door staying closed. So anyways, I'm going to put the camera right here by the arc tube so you can get a good view of the arc tube turning on. So anyways, I do not have a, um, like a remote or a switch or anything, so I'm just going to have to plug it in into the wall. So anyways, let's set the camera to focus. All right, the camera is now in focus. Now we're gonna give this bulb a shot in three, two, one.
Anyways, the fixture is at full brightness, and it is actually pretty bright in here. And it lights up this room quite nicely in pure whiteness. So, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this nice Philips 100 watt post start ceramic metal halide bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.